Janeiro, Brazil, UFC 163. Tonight it's UFC 162, presented by Bud Light. Here we go. These two men are two of the best at 145, as the former lightweight champion, Frankie Edgar, battles the Brazilian, Charles Oliveira. Frankie Edgar is amongst the pound for pound best fighters on the planet. You're looking for the big He's out. Out. Better to trouble. He's He's I think his cardio is second to none. His pace is second to none. His heart and will are unquestionable. What is keeping Frankie Edgar standing? And he's got nerves. He's just a tremendous, tremendous fighter. And Charles Oliveira has all he can handle in front of him with Frankie Edgar. Charles the Bronx Oliveira! My next fight will be a fight very important in my career. It will be a fight that I will show everyone that I'm not just a fighter of Jiu-Jitsu, but I'm not just a fighter of Jiu-Jitsu. Charles Oliveira has a tremendous amount of potential. His ground game is absolutely outstanding. He's very, very technical, and he shows a tremendous amount of promise. It is all over! The hype is for real, man. He's got a very slick submission game. You know, he's willing to go for broke and go for submissions. You know, he's got pretty good Muay Thai, mixes it up well, kicks, knees, elbows. He's tough, he's dangerous. He is going to have to be at the top of his game to defeat former lightweight champion Frankie Edgar. I've been, you know, seven fights in a row. I was fighting five-round title fights. You know, coming back to a three-round fight, it's going to make me get out the gun early and, and make sure, I, you know, first round I'm, I'm in his face and I'm, I'm in the rhythm that I like to be in the fourth and fifth. He's not a vulnerable. No one has finalized him. No one has knocked him. So he's a good guy. Wow, what a powerful takedown. É a oportunidade que eu queria, é a luta que eu pedi desde a minha última luta. Oh! 100% percent I'm getting, I'm getting a win this time. I'm not going home disappointed. What a fight! He bought his mother a home. He's a great kid. It's a great story. And he's a great talent. And he has an opportunity tonight to really solidify himself in the rankings at 145 if he can get by the former UFC lightweight champion of the world in Frankie Edgar. Well, this is a huge opportunity for him, especially coming off of the loss. He was stopped by Cub Swanson in his last outing in a fight that he took supposedly while he was injured. He wasn't in 100% condition for that fight, and Cub Swanson caught him with a bomb. But, you know, we saw it tonight. Cub Swanson's the real deal. No shame in losing to a guy of that caliber. But what's really important for a fighter after a loss is how they respond, how they come back, 
how how do they learn from what went wrong and how do they improve upon that he has only been past the second round two times in 20 fights do we get an answer on what, what he's saying uh, i was told it is gospel gospel yes for du bronx charles Oliveira. When a fighter comes out to the same music over and over and over again, like Matt Hughes when he came out the country boy kind yeah. of vibe, Vanderlei Silva. But for Frankie Edgar, it's Biggie all day. <laughs> when you hear this song and you see this dude hopping into the ring, you know it's about to get crazy. It's been like the battle of the walking music for this one. One of the things that Frankie Edgar said in the pre-fight was that he's not leaving without a victory in this fight. And one of the things he means by that is that he believes he won his last two fights. He believes that he won a close decision from Benson Henderson in the rematch, and he believes that he could have won the decision against Jose Aldo. And the fact that he pulled away in the last couple of rounds. Two very, very close fights against two of the very best fighters in the world. And that is where Frankie Edgar is. He is in the elite status of pound for pound greatness in mixed martial arts. But right now, he has no title. Frankie Edgar stepping into the Bud Light prep point. Bud Light, here we go. Seven straight title fights for Frankie before tonight. He has never been finished. His average fight time is the third longest in UFC history, nearly 18 minutes. Oliveira's average fight time is the third shortest among active fighters at four minutes and 37 seconds. Our tale of the tape for this featherweight fight is brought to you by the Wolverine, starring Hugh Jackman in theaters July 26th. Edgar is 31, Oliveira only 23 years old, four inches taller, reached nearly identical. Once again, the introductions from Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the co-main event of the evening. Brought to you by Corn Nuts, the official corn snack of the UFC. Corn Nuts, tough like you. UltimatePoker.com. Visit to win your ultimate UFC experience. The Wolverine, starring Hugh Jackman in theaters July 26th. And now, this fight is three rounds in the UFC featherweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu fighter, holding a professional record. 16 wins, three losses, one no contest. He stands five feet, 10 inches tall, weighing in at 144 pounds. Fighting out of Houston, Texas, by way of Sao Paulo, Brazil, Charles do Bronx Oliveira! And now with the music's opponent, fighting out of the red corner! This man is a freestyle fighter, holding a professional record. 14 wins, 4 losses, 1 draw. He stands 5 feet 6 inches tall, weighing in at 146 pounds. Fighting out of Tom's River, New Jersey, ladies and gentlemen, presenting a former UFC lightweight champion, Frankie the S.I. Edgar! And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Eve Lovey. Gentlemen, come over here, please. Protect yourself at all time will be my command at all time. If you want to touch it up, do it now. Go back to your corner. Eve Lavina, referee, Frankie Edgar, and Charles Oliveira. <coughs> Big featherweight matchup here tonight in Las Vegas. Frankie knows he needs to get off to a fast Fight. start. And here we go. Tonight's clock brought to you by Bud Light. Here we go. Edgar quickly. He's in the red trunks. Black trunks for Oliveira. 
Oliveira has a much more Muay Thai centered attack, whereas Frankie, although throws kicks, relies more on boxing. He hurt him. He hurt him with the right hand. He hurt him. And Charles takes it to the ground. This is where Frankie's got to be careful. He's very slick with his submission game. Yeah, and in my opinion, Frankie might have been better off standing up there. He certainly stunned Oliveira with that right hand, but now he's in a position. Let go the cage. Got to be careful. He's out. Nice, oh, nice knee to the body by Oliveira. Oliveira is so confident for such a young fighter. But as you said, as far as MMA mileage, he's got a lot on the odometer. He's had some very good fights inside the octagon, wins and losses. A lot of experience, but his technique is what really separates him. Always constant movement with Frankie Edgar. As you mentioned with that boxing-based attack. Yeah, he, he snuck that right hand through again. I think that's going to be the key to victory for Frankie if he can pull this fight off, is his boxing. Wow. This Oliver kid is taking any way he wants. Man. You got to be real careful. There's things you can get away with with other fighters that you cannot get away with with Oliveira. His just, last four wins by submission, as I mentioned. You can't post your hands on the ground. You can't allow him to grab overhooks. He's just very quick off of his back. Especially now in the first round when both fighters are dry. Much more friction. Now, see that overhook? That's a dangerous spot for Frankie. He wants to pull that right arm out. And there he, he goes. Against a lot of fighters, you can leave that arm on the mat. Against a guy like Oliveira, it's very dangerous. Important to note that Edgar trains his jiu-jitsu with Henzo Gracie, Ricardo Almeida, and the guys, John Donahue. So he's well trained. And he's worked very hard on his There's a right hand and a left hook behind it, but Oliveira responds with a knee. Oliveira trying to come up the middle. Even though Oliveira's taller, the reach was pretty even. Good left hook there by Frankie. I like how Oliveira's throwing those front kicks. Makes that long reach even longer. Nice jab there as well. Oh. Tried to fire the second time to the body he goes Edgar. Yeah, he connected with that left hook upstairs as well. Frankie changes levels again. Oliveira's timing him with a knee. He's got to be real careful with that. Oliveira's showing elbows, too. Good right hand over the top by Oliveira. Frankie was sliding away from it, but it did land. They're looking for the clinch. Edgar breaks through it. Nice job there. What, what a pace this fight's being fought at. No surprise when it's Frankie Edgar. Or Oliveira. Yeah. And it's again upstairs at the left. That's what's most amazing is the long fights that Frankie's been oh. in with the pace he keeps. Gotta watch the upkick. The Just upkick over a minute on really the clock. Changed the tide of the first Benson Henderson fight. Yep. Frankie's looking for that right hand, but Oliveira's starting to block it now. Frankie likes to throw that right, dip the shoulder, and then come back up the middle with the left. Oh, nice uppercut by Oliveira. Oliveira's putting a lot of pressure on Frankie. Oh, there beautiful combination. That's the one we were talking about. Nice jab. It's not a Frankie Edgar fight until his nose is bleeding. <laughs> Frankie talks about that. He says, my nose bleeds every day in practice. 15 seconds. Nice elbow from the bottom by Oliveira. Oliveira with those long legs. Good elbows. Tonight's corner cam brought to you by Corn Nuts. The only snack with big enough kernels to step into the octagon. 
Take off her mouth, face and breeze. Very good. He's throwing the hook with the left, but it's coming in. You gotta explore your jabs more. You're doing very good with that. Work your front kick on his stomach. Do that all day. Throw some combos. Jabs and cross. Kick. Every time he comes with a hand, you gotta kick his head. You're waiting for his head, but you're coming in with a knee. You come in with a quick knee. Start touching in place. Yeah. Frankie stayed busy in round one, Joe. Nearly 50 total strikes landed. Fight! Round two. Comes out swinging. Three round non title fight. One First things, one in nearly four years. Pardon me, sorry. Frankie. One of the things I really appreciate about watching Frankie fight is the footwork. But Oliveira has excellent footwork as well. He's turning with Frankie, cutting him off, cutting angles the same way Frankie does. Beautiful kick to the body. Caught Frankie it, returned. Caught it. Nice one of his own. That kick still had some pretty good impact on it, though. Good left to the body by Frankie. Oliveira looking for those knees. And you heard his corner, Makako was asking for that. Land those knees. Frankie's six-time fight of the night winner. He leaves it in the octagon every time he goes to battle. Beautiful leg kick. Nice leg kick, but a good right hand by Frankie. Oliveira wants him to jump in. Instead, he'll try to do some damage. Charles is back up. Oliveira looking much more sharp at his stand-up, and now Frankie puts him on his back. This is where you see the advantage of these long legs. His dexterity is excellent as well. He can pull those legs up behind the neck of Frankie. But of course, it does become more problematic as they get more slippery with sweat. Ground strikes thus far. Top position, all Edgar. And a couple of nice shots. Good punches from the top by Edgar. Punching an elbow, and there's another elbow. He might have cut him on the bridge of the nose. Yeah, too. these are solid shots. Again, nice knee. Didn't quite connect. Edgar's pace is just so outstanding. But Oliveira is keeping up with him step for step. Edgar with the counter. Jumping double roundhouse kick. Frankie pushes forward. Good Edgar. left hook. I like how he changed up his footwork there. He timed that perfectly. Nice stepping in elbow by Oliveira. Like I said, Oliveira tries to mix it up a bit more. More of a Muay Thai centered attack. There's that front kick to the body his corner was calling for. Yeah, like you said, Frankie will throw kicks, but it's, it's more of a boxing style for him. And his work with Mark Henry. Just over a minute on the clock here in the second. 
Nice kick. Caught though. to the body and the head. He was able to deliver those punches there because he changed his angle of attack nicely. Again, body head. But Oliveira's looking to answer. What a fun fight. This is amazing pace. Can he get a takedown? Yep. Beautifully done, but he's in a guillotine. He's got to be careful. Final yeah. seconds of the round. Wow. Wow. Very interesting. Yeah, very interesting. That was a bad position. Had that Good. been earlier in the round. You're doing incredible. Listen. Fast feet, fast hands. Look at me. Don't wait. The times you get hit is when you're raining. You understand what I'm saying? Change, throw, change your angle, throw again. But I need you to change up your speeds of your hand and change up the speeds of your feet. You understand what I'm saying? If he backs up with his hands, kick him. You understand what I'm saying? You gotta keep kicking his stomach. Kick his head. Last round. I'm not going to lie. He took it down the first round. Thank you. The second round could be either way. This is your round. You got to keep pressure. And here's the takedown by Frankie. But look where Oliveira's arm is. And note how as they go to the ground, Oliveira slides his left leg over and pulls guard. Locks his legs together, and he has that forearm under the chin of Frankie Edgar. Last round, fight! Frankie, yeah, Frankie had to know it was real late in the round. <laughs> just late enough for that takedown. Yeah, it just shows really good positioning by Oliveira, how he was able to adjust as he was being taken down. And Frankie, one of the busiest takedown artists in the UFC. Nice jab by Oliveira. He's really picking up the pace here in this round. Well, he heard his corner say, we're not oh, sure where we Frankie are right tagged now. Him. You got to get this round. Edgar pushing forward now. There's another right hand that lands. He avoids. Oliveira may be still stung here. Cardio never a question when it comes to Edgar. He'll kick and score some points. You have to do more than that if you want to keep it up. Okay, stop, stop, stop. Yes, stop. And Eve Levine stands him up. Look at me. Ready? Fight! The big fight for Frankie. After the way the title fights have gone recently. Nice. Stepping in elbow. Oliveira was showing that earlier. Yeah, he's mixing things up well. Yeah. And that's the benefit of having the Muay Thai style as opposed to a boxing style is that he, you know, Frankie Watch utilizes head, all those Watch weapons as well, just not as often as Oliveira does. I mean, it was that step and elbow that Weidman used to finish Ooh, Munoz. Good so. combination by Oliveira. That was a nice right hand. Put him in position for tonight's title fight. Caught the leg. Nice knee to the body knee. by Oliveira. And a couple of punches. Good flurry by the Brazilian. What a fight. Yeah, just over three minutes now. I kind of wish this was a five-rounder. Frankie's used to it. <laughs> well, Oliveira looks in outstanding shape. I don't think he'd have a problem with five rounds either. He's only gone past the second round. Now this, Joe, three times in his career. And the thing to think about with Oliveira is this kid is still 23 years yeah. old. Massive, massive potential. Oh, good right hand. And look, comes right back. Lands a nice left. Good Looking for elbow. that elbow again. Yeah. yeah. I like how he mixes that up, Mike. I, I just think that's, it's, there's so many more options. Oh, okay. spins. Frankie saw that. Tripped. 
Right way back up. Good right hand over the top. He's hurt. He's hurt. He's hurt. And again. There's a left that connects. Another right hand. Big shots. Look at the footwork of Frankie Edgar oh as he's setting up the shots. Frankie looks at the clock. Flying <laughs> knee. knee. To a guy a foot taller than him. Those right hands are landing. And Oliver. doing damage. Oliveres turning right at the last minute when they're landing. All over him on the ground. Frankie's got to be careful, though, still. He certainly does. Especially inside the guard. But Oliver is so slippery on the ground, the odds of passing his guard not so good. Oh, good left hand there. Some big punches landed here in the third round by the former lightweight champion. Thirty seconds. Let's see if he stays up. I guess not. But again, look as he tries to pass Oliveira's guard. Oliveira is so good with that hip escape. Ten seconds. The chant of Frankie here inside the MGM Grand Garden Arena. They go the distance. Fight. What a battle. Win, lose, or draw. That Charles Oliveira kid is world class. I think he really rose to the occasion tonight, and Frankie Edgar looked outstanding. The judges will render their decision as Oliveira goes the distance with Frankie Edgar. Our fight replay brought to you by Bud Light. Here we go. It was a great battle back and forth. First round, a big right hand by the former lightweight champion. And punishment to the body. Second round. Again, good movement. And again, the way that Frankie was able to change his angles and retaliate after the kick. And then good ground and pound by Edgar against the very slick jiu-jitsu artist. And there's the trademark Frankie Edgar takedown that we have seen so many times. That was late in the round. That's the right hand that really hurt him. And Edgar continued to pour it on in the third and finishes this fight in top position against the 23-year-old. Here is Bruce Buffer with the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, after three rounds, we go to the judges' scorecards for decision. The judges scored the contest 30-27, 29-28, and 30-27 for the winner by unanimous decision, Frankie the Answer Edgar. That has got to feel great for Frankie Edgar. Here's Joe. I'm here with the winner, Frankie Edgar. First of all, Frankie, what a fight that was. What a pace. Was it was it odd for you to be fighting a three-round fight? It was, you know, and uh felt just as hard as a five-round fight. But I just want to say uh, it's nice to talk to you while I got a smile on my face. It is nice to talk to you while you're in the winner's column as well. Uh, tell us, first of all, what, what if anything, surprised you about Oliveira? His toughness, you know. I, I see some fights where he's been stopped, but I thought I had him hurt. I was really looking for that finish, especially in the third. You know, he showed some toughness, man. I think his height a little out of my range. Couldn't land that, that power shot, but 
He was tough. Yeah, let's take a look at some of those big shots you landed in the third round. You had them staggered, connected with some really clean shots. Your boxing was really on point tonight, as well as your footwork. Yeah, you know, that's, that's what we do, man. Uh, I had the greatest team in the world, Mark, Ricardo, Anderson, everyone back home, Brian Blue, Steve Rivera, David Esposito, uh, my family. You know, it's like I've been in hell these past three fights. I'm climbing my way back. TR, NJ, take this ride with me one more time. Let's go. Congratulations on a win and a really entertaining fight. Frankie Edgar, ladies and gentlemen. Big win tonight for Frankie Edgar. Yeah, he does. He wants another shot at the belt. He doesn't care what weight it's at. Great performance by the former champion in front of Steven Seagal, who is here tonight to watch the one, the only Anderson Silva fight. We take a final look in the locker room of the champion, Anderson Silva, brought to you by Alienware, makers of the most powerful gaming systems in the universe. Game victorious. 14 of Silva's 16 UFC wins have come by stoppage, including highlight reel finishes of Chael Sonnen and Vitor Belfort. Tonight, he'll look to defend his title for a record 11th time 